changed in the last couple of years is that we've had a complete turnaround in the um, in the approach to the, the accessibility of information. Um, I think open education is is a great thing. I think um, it would be fantastic if if more uh, tertiary institutions or any institution embraced um, that open education policy. Uh, I think that Otago Policy should be doing it and, and should lead the way. As an institution, uh, we've embraced the concept of um, OER um, as a way of operating uh, that's manifested in our, in our IP policy and our copyright policy and um, we've started a journey which we think will um, be of long term benefit to not only the polytechnic um, but to the sector and well education generally. What the purpose of open education is, so it's access to resources without having to reinvent a wheel um, and that lack of realisation that just providing access doesn't necessarily grant a qualification, it provides access to learn. that um, people in EDC are doing a lot of fantastic kind of really innovative work around getting people to work more collaboratively in an online format, both in teaching and learning, and by maybe by bringing some of our materials to a wider audience. So rather than just keeping it all closed up in an institution where information will be found in books, we're putting information now available online for many people to see, and they're interacting with it in a different way. just a giving, it's, it's a receiving as well of all kinds of um, personal connections and um, uh, understanding of um, how, how the resources could be customised and used um, in developing countries. I think people pay for is not so much the content of, of um, the, the knowledge, um, they pay for someone who can guide them into it. The other interesting thing is that wherever I've gone, people say to me, Otago Polytechnic, we know all about your efforts because of the work that we do on Wiki Educator. Um, we are well known um, for our work and it is appreciated. And it's like a door opens wherever I go because of, of this work. problem with the whole issue of intellectual property and that, you know, it's, it's crazy, it's, it's, it's um, constrictive and I mean it, it's not as if you're giving something material away and, and you, you lose by, by, by giving some of your resources. If you share your intellectual property then um, you haven't lost anything. We have this whole big world out there with little people living in columns not knowing what the other one is doing. What I think open educational resources can do is connect those people. So not only are they interacting, but they're learning. So their information actually goes up. Now the, 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 the emphasis is on, you know, let's get the stuff out there. Um, and it, it really is a, an exciting thing. We've had really good feedback about our, our um, policy about having open education resources available and and being um, proactive in doing that and we've actually had really good feedback just about some of the particular resources that we've put on the internet and made available as well. If I want to find out through open education how to peel an onion, I can find that out 70,000 probably ways by purely doing a search on the net. So why shouldn't then someone find out how to peel an onion by Otago Polytechnic? Huge learning curve associated with um, with teaching online, and uh, last year was our first year. And I'd say that some things went really well, and other things we can improve on. If we look at um, how the students have achieved through the year, um, we've decided that overall they're they're ahead of the students in the previous year, and. Um, there are some, some areas where their learning is less and there's somewhere it's more, but overall um, 
we're pretty happy with the outcome. So the vision is to um, make Otago Polytechnic a key and a lead um, provider in this um, area, both in New Zealand and worldwide. The straight knowledge isn't our core business. It's our core business is facilitating people to understand that knowledge or, or to, to work with that knowledge. New Zealand may not be ready for free education, but it's definitely something we can work towards to, and the reduction of those barriers, specifically the financial ones. Can persuade others who are involved in the same field to become involved in open education resources and development and collaboration, then that's best for everyone really. easy to, to say well why should we hide what content that we, we generate, um, let's make it freely available and um, let's encourage people to use it and um, put back into the pot so to speak and uh, I think that uh, everyone ends up better off from a philosophy of that nature. People can, can come to learn to use it as a resource. And the, the greatest vision we can have is, you know, through the concept of Akko, is to teach and to learn. And so in teaching someone else, you learn a lot about yourself. And learning from someone else, you can pass on a new way of teaching. And so for me, that's what it provides, not just as a resource, but how we use it. You know, engaging with it and using it as a tool rather than a nuisance. I think my vision would be that... Um there is as much as possible out there in an open forum um, and that it's available to as many people as possible around the world. I'll create the, the stuff and leave it lying around and then later on I'll see other people using that and that's fine. You know, that's the way it should be. <laughs>